Hey YouTube, welcome to my garage and today's tutorial video is beginner's guide to getting started with welding. First things first is safety and here's all the safety gear that you need. I wouldn't go out and purchase a welder without the necessary safety gear. First, the helmet. This protects your eyes from the UV rays coming from the spark of the weld. You definitely need a good helmet. The most common one is the auto change helmet. The lens itself will change from a clear to a tinted automatically. This one here, you can see through it now. And so you would just put it on and adjust the helmet. Because it's auto changing, I don't need to flip this up. I can weld and it will protect my eyes. It's a P100 mask. I do recommend it because welding involves spark and fire. So therefore it will involve fumes and smoke that you don't want to inhale. High face mask with the filters. This filters can be changed. Tight fitting. You want this to make a air sealed cover on your face. Fireproof welding protective gloves, not to protect me from the spark, but also from the UV. Hair protection. I got one of these, flame resistant beanie. Here's uh, my flame resistant jacket. That's the brand, not sponsored. So this will protect my exposed arms and his buttons in the front. You don't want your shirt to have holes burnt through it. I'm not gonna button it here because my mic's attached to my t-shirt. So let's go through all this again here. Flame resistant beanie, mask. Make sure it's tight, helmet. And gloves. Gloves, jacket, mask, helmet. I'm welding to weld. And I definitely would button these to cover my skin when I'm welding. So this is the welder I have. It's a Mastercraft. I got it from Canadian Tire. So I'm not going to go in quick full detail of the settings. That will be another video. This video is just the basics of what I got to get myself started. All the knobs for adjustment. Grounding the actual welding gun itself. And the tip. You can see the tip of the end of it. Let's see if I can focus on that. Tip on the end of it. So on the inside, this is a MIG and wire feed welder. And so on the inside, that is the MIG wire. There's all the settings for the knobs listed there. Power cord's right there. It's a three prong power cord. I have all my manuals there as I need it. This is the old ground clip. This is the cover for the gas tank. This is flex core spool. This is just brush to clean off your welds. There's another brush down there. Uh, this on a rolling cart, make it easy to lug around and move around because it's heavy, especially with the gas tank. You can use this welder without the gas. Flex core, you don't need the gas for it. You can also weld MIG and not use gas as well. And that's the gas tank for it. And I turn on the gas when I turn on the welder to weld. If you'd like to see another video on the actual welding process, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section what you'd like to see in the next video. Video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the rest of the channel. And thanks for watching.